Chapter 1 Heredity and Evolution This chapter, Heredity and Evolution, provides answers to questions such as Number 1. Why our face or features are similar to our father or mother? Number 2. How we evolved from primitive apes into modern humans? At the end of the lesson, we will be able to understand the concepts of Number 1. Heredity Number 2. Transcription Number 3. Translation Number 4. Evolution Number 5. Evidences in Evolution Number 6. Darwinism Number 7. Lamarckism Number 8. Speciation Number 9. Evolution in Humans Genes mediate the transfer of biological characters from parents to progeny. Heredity is considered as the phenomenon of the transfer of traits from parents to offspring. Johann Gregor Mendel is the scientist who explained the basic principles of heredity. Later, the mutational theory of Hugo de Vries postulated that the formation of new species and varieties are due to mutation. Scientists Avery, McCarthy and McLeod proved that all living beings have DNA as genetic material, except virus. It was Jacob and Monard who proposed a model for process of protein synthesis with the help of DNA, which helped in uncovering genetic codes in DNA. The science of heredity helps in the field of diagnosis, production of hybrid varieties of animals and plants, treatment and prevention of hereditary diseases, and in industrial processes. Transcription, Translation and Translocation The instructions to make proteins are present in the DNA, dioxyribonucleic acid, and synthesis of appropriate amount of proteins is necessary for the functioning of the body. Proteins are synthesized with the help of DNA through RNA. This sequence is referred to as central dogma. mRNA is produced as per the sequence of nucleotides on DNA. The sequence of nucleotides in mRNA being produced is always complementary to the DNA strand used for synthesis. This process is known as transcription. mRNA brings the coded message from DNA. This message contains codes for amino acids. The code for each amino acid consists of three nucleotides. It is called as triplet codon. According to the message of mRNA, amino acids are supplied by tRNA. These amino acids are brought in by tRNA. For this purpose, tRNA has anticodon having complementary sequence to the other codon on the tRNA. This is called as translation. Amino acids are bonded together with the help of rRNA. In this process, the ribosome keeps on moving from one end of mRNA to the other end by the distance of one triplet codon. This is called as translocation. This process helps in the synthesis of proteins. Similar many chains come together to form complex protein. Mutation Living organisms produce new individuals like themselves and during this process, some of their genes are transmitted to their offspring. However, sometimes sudden changes occur in those genes, like by addition or deletion of any nucleotide from their genes, mutation occurs. Some mutations may be minor, but some mutations can be notable. This can cause genetic disorder like sickle cell anemia, Down syndrome, etc. Evolution and its theory Evolution is considered as the process of gradual change occurring in living organisms over a long duration. In other words, evolution is considered as the process of formation of new organisms from primitive ones by slow changes. Theory of evolution suggests that living organisms originated in the ocean. Initially, unicellular organisms formed, which gradually evolved into multicellular and complex organisms it took around 300 crore years for these changes to occur. These changes had been multidimensional in living organisms which led to evolution of various kinds of living organisms. The process of evolution needs to be proved. Thus, certain proofs are available to support the theories. Number 1. Morphological Evidences By observing these images, 
we can depict that there are similarities such as position of eyes, structure of mouth, structure of ear pinnae, and nostrils, etc. Also, similarities in characters like leaf venation, leaf shape, and leaf petiole are seen in plants. These state that their origin must be same and must have common ancestors. Number 2. Anatomical Evidences If you observe the skeletal structure of cat's foreleg, human hand, flipper of whale, and patagium of bat, there is similarity in structure of bones and bony joints in organs of each of those animals. However, use of these organs is not similar in each of these animals. Number 3. Vestigial Organs A vestigial organ does not have any functions, but have resemblance in structures with functional roles in other organisms. An example of vestigial organ is human appendix. Appendix, which is useless to human, is useful and fully functional organ in ruminants. Also, muscles of ear pinna, which are useless to human, are useful in monkeys for movement of ear pinna. Number 4. Paleontological Evidences Fossils are often used as evidence of evolution. Fossils are considered as remains of dead organisms that lived long ago. Several organisms get buried due to disasters like flood, earthquake, volcano, etc. Remnants and impressions of such organisms remain preserved underground. Once the organism dies, carbon consumption stops and decaying process of C14 starts. The time passed since the death of a plant or animal can be calculated by measuring the radioactivity of C14 and ratio of C14 to C12 present in their body. This is known as carbon dating method. This method is used in paleontology and anthropology for determining the age of human fossils. Number 5. Connecting links. Certain species possesses characters of two separate taxonomic groups and thus functions as a bridge between these two taxonomic groups. For instance, Peripatus serves as a connecting link between Anthropoda and Annelida. Peripatus possesses the feature of Annelida such as thin cuticle, segmented body and parapodia-like organs. Similarly, these animals show tracheal respiration and open circulatory system similar to anthropods. Number 6. Embryological Evidences It is stated that closely related species are similar in their earlier stages of development. If you compare the embryos of fish, salamander, tortoise, chicken, rabbit and man, all these embryos show extreme similarity. This indicates common origin of all these organs. Darwinism Charles Darwin proposed the theory of natural selection. In 1831, Darwin went on a voyage in ship named HMS Beagle. The ship visited the coastal regions of the South America, Galapagos Island and Australia. From there, he collected various specimens of plants and animals. On the basis of his study, Darwin postulated the theory of natural selection, which was published in the book titled Origin of Species. In the theory, Darwin suggested that, in a population, all the species compete with each other. In this competition, only those organisms which display essential modifications will survive, while others will perish. For example, Darwin noticed 15 species of finch on Galapagos Island. Each of the species possesses different shaped beaks. Darwin realized that the shape of the beak depends on the food consumed by the birds. Finches that ate insects had pointed beaks in order to pick them better and those which ate hard-covered fruits had sharp beaks to get through the skins. Lamarckism Lamarck believed that characters acquired during the life of any organism are passed on to its offspring. The theory is referred to as Lamarck's theory of inheritance of acquired characteristics. According to Lamarck, Neck of giraffe has become too long due to browsing on leaves of tall plants by extending their neck for several generations. Speciation The process of formation of one or more new species from an existing species is known as speciation. Speciation occurs when a population is split due to geographical barriers and gets isolated from parent populations. 
the new species formed cannot reproduce with the parent population. Reproductive changes are also considered as a cause for speciation. Evolution in humans About 4 crore years ago, tail of these lemurs-like animals disappeared. These animals evolved into ape-like animals and migrated to South and Northeast Asia and finally evolved into gibbon and orangutan. About 2.5 crore years ago, gorillas and chimpanzees evolved from these ape-like animals. Due to geographical conditions, these ape-like animals started to stand in erect posture and their hands became available for use. These human-like animals evolved about 2 crore years ago. The first human-like ape known as Ramapithecus evolved about 40 lakh years ago. The skilled humans developed from these about 20 lakh years ago. This belonged to the member of the genus Homo. About 15 lakh years ago, erect walking humans developed. Neanderthal man is considered as the initial wise man, which was evolved 50,000 years ago. Later, Cro-Magnon man was evolved, and after that, evolution had been faster.